The World Anti-Doping Agency says it's very alarmed by allegations that hundreds of top athletes have recorded suspicious drug tests. Blood results leaked to the Sunday Times show that 55 gold medals were won by athletes with dubious scores. The head of the Sports International Federation, Sebastian Coe, said they were taking the claims very seriously and would issue a robust and detailed response. Harry Smith reports. It could be the biggest doping scandal that's ever hit the world of athletics. The Sunday Times and a German broadcaster have been handed the results of 12,000 blood tests taken over 11 years. They suggest that up to a third of all medals in the world's biggest events could have been won by athletes who cheated. Some results were simply grotesque in their extremity. They were quite easily the worst I've ever seen. The paper gives the example of the 2005 World Championships in Helsinki when three Russian women made spectacular late sprints to win gold, silver and bronze in the 1500 metres. According to doping experts, all three had blood tests suggesting they had either taken drugs or a late blood transfusion, both of which are banned by sporting rules. All three were subsequently banned years later after separate tests, but all three kept their medals. The records of the original tests remained in the archives of the International Association of Athletic Federations in Monaco. The results are there. Someone has been collecting the results. Someone must have overseen the results. But someone has decided not to take any action on many of those results. So to me, whoever within the IAAF and the various national federations is responsible for managing those results, they've obviously not done a very good job. The anonymous whistleblower who leaked them told journalists they did so because of concern at the lack of action by the IAAF, who today gave this reaction. Doping is a big threat for 21st century. This is not new. But everyone should know that for cheaters, no space, no in athletics, not in other sport, not in Olympic movement. The World Anti-Doping Agency says it's very alarmed about the allegations. These are wild allegations, wide allegations, and we'll have to check them out. Um, and we'll have that done by the Commission as quickly as possible. Very surprised at the numbers that seem to come from the, from the leak from the IWF. I'm equally sure that they will want to uh, look very closely at this. Too. But again, I stress that athletes are innocent and for proven guilty. Former Olympic champion Lord Coe, who's challenging for the presidency of the IAAF, said on Twitter, I know that the IAAF takes these allegations extremely seriously and will issue a robust and detailed response. The leaked documents show that many of Britain's 2012 Olympic heroes, such as Jessica Ennis-Hill and Mo Farah, won their medals fairly, and there's no suggestion they were involved in doping. But the Sunday Times says 12 other British athletes have shown abnormal results from tests. These results are described as suspicious, but do not necessarily mean there has been cheating. But the revelations will leave all athletes wondering whether they won or lost their races fairly or were deprived of a medal by opponents who cheated.